Hello, Brian Myers with Winning Solutions Inc. and I've got another Microsoft Access Expert tutorial for you. Today we're going to look at one of our database templates that you can purchase from our website. So I've got the Microsoft Access Expert website open here. We're going to scroll down and look on the left side for the database templates. Here we've got the Access Hour tracking database. That's the one we're going to look at today. As always, you can chat with us about any of your projects or needs for Access development. We've also got a link to an enhanced Microsoft Access uh, database template that uh, we'll cover in a later video. We've also got some screenshots here, a couple of the reports that are within the system, and a place where you can download the demo. We've also got a place here where you can purchase various versions of the database template. I'm not going to get into those right now. We'll start in with the demo. So I'm going to right click on the link and click Save Link As. I'm going to save that to my desktop. We can, we've got it downloaded here, so we're going to go ahead and close out of that. And what we've got here is a zip file. If you don't know how to work with zip files, we've covered that in a previous video, and I will include a link in the description below. But we're going to start here by right-clicking on our file and say Extract All. We'll go ahead and extract that to the desktop and show the extracted files once it's completed. And here is our uh, demo here. So we'll go ahead and double click on that file, opening up Access. And to start with here, we're going to get a trusted locations error. And that's nothing to be concerned about. I'm not actually going to cover that in this video. We do have a video where we cover that specifically and how you can get rid of this error message that pops up. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So we'll go ahead and click Open this time. And we've got a couple of options here. We can input time and hours. We can search time and hours. We can look at our reports. We can search for companies. We can add companies or projects. And we can maintain employees. We'll start here by uh, coming in and adding a new company. And I'm going to call this Winning Solutions Inc. I'm going to add in a project name. This is the demo. Uh, you have the ability to add a picture there if you want. I am not going to put a picture in this one. I do have some notes here that I can fill out, and this will be a demo of a Access database template. And we'll go ahead and save and close. And now let's maintain some employees here. We've already got some employees entered. We can go ahead and add new employees by just going down to the last field. And we'll put myself in here. And as soon as we click out of that field, that's actually saved. So we'll go ahead and close out that subform. And now let's try looking at the search companies. We have a drop down here that's listing all the companies that are in the database. We've also got some projects there. Let's see if we uh, select one of these and see if we've got a project. Let's look for our demo. And it looks like we've got two entries for winning solutions. So there I went to the first selection and searched for demo. And then it shows our project that we've got there. So we can search and look for different projects from different companies. We can reassign those projects to different companies as well. So now let's look at the main part of this where we're going to input some time and some hours. So we'll go ahead and enter for uh, today, which is Sunday, employee. We'll say myself. Start time, we'll say 10.30 a.m. And we'll say end time is going to be uh, 11.30 a.m. And the total time there is already calculated for us at 60 minutes. We can decide which company we're going to assign this to. I'm going to assign it to Winning Solutions. And the project is the demo.
We can also add in miles. That's something that's oftentimes very important to track. So you can reimburse your, your salespeople or, or project people that are on site. And we'll put in some notes here. Worked on video demo. And we're going to go ahead and click save and close. And now we've got some hours entered in there. So now let's try searching for those hours that we put in there. Let's search by to uh, employee here. We'll look for myself. We'll do a search. And there it comes up. And you can see that entry that I made for winning solutions and, and the demo project. So we'll go ahead and close out of this. And finally, let's go ahead and look at the reports. So what we can do is we can run a report from a certain date to a, a certain date. Uh, we can run it for a particular company, uh, which we'll do here, and we can get a couple of options on a report. You also have the ability to select a, an employee or a project. So let's select my project here, demo, and let's get an hour detailed. There's a nice report there. It's got my uh, total time entered. It's got the employee that worked on it, the company, the project name, and some of the notes that was entered for that entry. Let's close that and let's go hour detailed by employee. Now, if we had multiple employees, this, this report would actually divide and show us based upon each individual employee rather than by hour. Then we've also got an hour summary by date, which we can do as well. And that report's going to look you know, a little bit different. It's broken up by days. Uh, so you could actually run from a period of time to a period of time and see each day how much each employee had put on each project. And then we've also got an hour summary by employee as well as the same type of thing, just broken up by employees. So that kind of takes us to the end of the regular uh, version of this database template, the hour uh, time hour tracking database. Uh, as always, please give us a like. Uh, feel free to subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the more videos we do, the more products we make. Uh, go ahead and join us on Facebook or Twitter if that's your thing. And we're, we even have a Google Plus page. I have appreciated bringing this demo to you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks and have a great day.